Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. We're glad to hear this morning. Have a great show lined up and I want to welcome you to America's only daily outdoor TV show. We're glad you're watching, and we're glad you support our, our sponsors. Today's show is going to be special because we have a very special guest in the studio. But let's get started with our weather, brought to us by Haney Technical Center at the corner of Baldwin Road and Highway 77. All kind of programs, all kind of activities always going on at Haney Technical Center. Stop by and see Principal Mike Heppenstall and any of the staff there, and I promise you they'll be glad to help you. Okay, high today now. We're looking at a 76. Get back to normal weather, 76. It's cold weather. Sure felt good the last couple of days, but tonight's low is only going to get down to 55. Water temperature dropped down one more degree now to 77. That's partly because of the weather we've had, and also the sun's getting a little bit lower. Remember now, daylight saving times will be starting Sunday, so go ahead and set your clocks for Sunday for daylight saving time. We won't always fall back in the fall. The river readings. Take a look at the Appalachian Coast of Bluntstown. Boy, this flat line, it is really, it's been like that all summer long. I'm, I've got to where I'm going to only show about once a week instead of three or four times a week. It's reading a point three, the big river at Bluntstown. Now, let's go over to Choctatchee River at Caraville. It's not much better, folks. It's at a 1.8. So our, our fall river readings are really low this time of year. So keep that in mind. If you're going out this weekend on the river, it's going to be really low. But I've heard some really good reports on freshwater fishing, so you might want to keep that in mind also. <clears throat> the tide, the low tide in Panama City this morning is at 8.40, and the high tide is at 10.48, got a 1.2 foot range. So we've got, a, got an incoming tide uh, most of the day, and the wind is going to die down a little bit compared to the last couple of days. All right, that takes care of our outdoor weather. Now we're going to take our first break and we'll take a look at a couple of our sponsors and come back with our special guest. Welcome back, and look who's on the show, a fellow outdoorsman, Congressman Steve Sutherland. Coach, <laughs> great to be with you. Well, great to be, great to have you on the show. You know, we don't usually do politics on, on Panhandle Outdoors, but we, this is a special occasion, I think. Uh, and we really, uh, y'all all know Steve, and I, I, I want to go back how far. I've known Steve since he was little. <laughs> I've known his family, the aunts and uncles, mom and dad. Yep. Taught your uh, taught your children, yep. taught your brothers and sisters, yep. and so uh, it, it's not like he just came in the front door. Uh, Steve, we got a we got a race coming going on. We do, we do, Coach. I'm uh, we've got about a week left, yeah. and uh, I'm ready to I'm ready to bring this horse into the barn and get it get it done with. It's uh, <laughs> the funniest thing you said a while ago. You said I can't wait till after next week. Are you going where? I'm going to Alabama. I'm going to go get in a tree stand. He's going to get in a tree. He wants to go get in a tree. <laughs> Y'all know that feeling. We all get like that. I know. But on, on your background, seriously, uh, you know, your family, y'all did so many outdoor things growing up. Oh, yeah. And, 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 uh, and it's, so, it's so good. <clears throat> when, when you were first elected, I, I, just, I was just grinning from ear to ear. I said, finally, we've got an outdoorsman up in Washington, D.C. At least there's one outdoorsman up there. Well, there, there's actually quite a few. The, yeah. uh, the Sportsman's Caucus is yeah. one of the largest caucuses in, uh, in D.C., and there's a lot of avid hunters from around the country, uh, avid fishermen, mm -hmm. and, uh, and serving on Natural Resources Committee. Uh, puts me really front and center uh, to uh, to oversee you know a lot of the uh, the fisheries and mm -hmm. and uh, and hunting. So I love it. A, a day in the woods with your kids and with your yeah. your siblings. Uh, it just you can't beat it. Yeah. Well, we always we're always preaching about taking your kids outdoors and all. And Steve and his family have been role models in doing that. I, I can remember years and years ago. Uh, riding by your house, and your dad in the backyard had uh, archery, some archery oh, stuff, yeah. and he was one of the really first guys. He and Ronnie Groom and uh, and Mike McKinney, or yep. um, and they Uncle were Mike, of, Uncle, uh, they were some of the first ones <clears throat> that really got into bow hunting seriously. I, yeah. I can remember that. Well, and he, and he passed passed it on down to us. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, uh, me, and my siblings, we all bow hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we we like it because it extends our season a little longer. Uh -huh. uh, but. Um, uh, yeah, Dad has been a great role model. Dad taught us a lot about discipline, mm -hmm. um, about being a good steward of the resources. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go in the field, you, you shoot what you need and you, you eat what you shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, same when, you, when you're fishing. And, yeah. uh, uh, and it's just a great time to spend time with your children. Uh, I know several of my children love to hunt, love to fish, and uh, it's great. Yeah. It's great. I, and, you know, I've had them in class and all, and I called. Oh, I, yeah. I was trying to. My, now, this guy's a hard guy to track down. I mean, he's just he's boom, 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 moving, moving, moving. And I was wanting to get you on the show, and we were running out of time, so I, 
I, I got Samantha's phone number from one of my students who worked with her at Red Elephant or something. Right. I, I right. said, well, I'll call Samantha. She can find her daddy. You know, she was in Savannah, Georgia. She, I, I said, what are you doing? She said, Coach, I'm in Savannah. <laughs> I said, what are you doing up there? Well, the girls know how to get me in a hurry, and uh, I, I appreciate uh, uh, you, uh, you, you're you a pretty good tracker. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have the inside, inside information with those girls and all, but you know, your, your kids love the outdoors too. Oh man, I, I've, look, I'm gonna tell you as a father, and I know the, the, uh, the hunters that are watching your show, there's nothing like sitting in a tree stand uh, or in a condo, you know, with, uh, with your children and them catnapping on your shoulder. <laughs> and uh, you see a deer out in the field and, and you just, you count your blessings. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. you got that uh, you got that little one in your arms uh -huh. and, uh, and you just thank God for all the blessings you have. Yeah. And so uh, it's those moments uh, in life that uh, unfortunately there doesn't seem to be enough of them. Yeah. But the one, the times that you have that opportunity, um, your family, uh, your freedoms, uh, and, 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 and you just, you just count the blessings. We are a blessed people here yeah. having the freedoms to, to hunt and fish. And, uh, um, it, it's, it's, and I'm a, I'm blessed because I have a father that, that took us to the woods early. Yeah. I remember my, my brother, Tim, I remember the very first time we went hunting, uh, we were down, uh, uh, down, uh, in, in, in Gulf County squirrel hunting in the woods. I'll yeah. never forget those early, early days going squirrel hunting with dad and, yeah. and it stuck. Yeah. And it's still a big group that goes down there every year, oh, yeah. and uh, it's just yeah. a big ritual. And, yeah. uh, and and I tell people on the show, and everyone agrees with me, we live in such a special area here in the Panhandle to to have to even have a daily outdoor TV show. We oh, can yeah. do it because of where we live, the kind of people here, and the kind of sponsors, the people that support all of us and all. And well, and Coach, you do a great job. I know that, like you, you mentioned, you mentioned teaching our our children at Mosley. Uh, and I, I just, you know what, I, I'm blessed. I had a father that, that mm -hmm. took us to the woods, but mm -hmm. not every child yeah. uh, has, a, has a father that, that knows about hunting or enjoys hunting or fishing. And so I think you do an outstanding job introducing, uh, first of all, reinforcing what we're doing at home, but yeah. also for children who, who don't have a father that's taking them hunting, introducing them to it. Uh, and it, because it's a great American freedom that we all enjoy. We are, uh, you know, talking about being blessed. I, I've always considered myself just blessed to be able to teach these young people and teach them something <laughs> that I that I just love doing, and I know yeah. I know they love doing it. Uh, it's funny; it's been really cold this week, and uh, we went to archer unit. And, and normally, I, on cold weather, I stay inside and let them watch the, uh, some kind of good video, you know. And this. This class this year, said, Coach, we, we want to go outside. I said, y'all, it's 48 degrees outside. I'd rather go inside and shoot. And, you know, and kids would rather go outside yeah. Yeah. And, and, and do that. So, we, you know, we, we do all we can to take them outside. Well, I, I think, uh, you know, you, it's hard to get in trouble in a tree stand. Yeah. It's hard to get in <laughs> trouble uh, if you're fishing with your daddy on boat. Yeah. I mean, it's just, and those, that opportunity to connect with your child mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and you reinforcing that with our children in school and, um, you, you've done a great service. Well, I think you're not the only one who feels that way because this year I have a record number of students. They, I, they have given me 243 students I have this year. Wow. 18-year-olds, <laughs> my classroom, wall to wall. And I n never complained about it. It's wonderful. We, we're going we to we're double wide now. I think we need a triple wide. We just got to <laughs> get more room up there. Look, we're going to take this break and we'll be right back with some pictures from Steve. All right, welcome back to the Congressman and Outdoorsman, uh, and Reverend, and all kinds. I mean, you all kinds of names. Uh, Steve Sutherland. Uh, Steve, Steve well, let's get started with some pictures. Now, we're going to prove you an outdoorsman. So, all right. check this out, folks. We're going to tell us about this uh, gator here. You caught that by hand, or what? No, 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 no. no. I don't. I don't think so. I was over in Louisiana. Uh, this wasn't too long ago. Okay. Uh, I was over there with uh, one of my colleagues and. Uh, uh, and, 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 and certainly a, a, a friend of uh, our community and no stranger, Grover Davis. Yeah. Uh, we, were, uh, we were over with, uh, uh, with his grandsons and, and uh, we just had a, had a great time. Okay, all right. I, okay, now our next one up here, let's see, we'll move it up a little bit. Well, <clears throat> you know, we were talking about, uh, we were talking about daddy-daughter time yeah. and we were talking about spending time with your children. You know, Ab that's Abby, mm -hmm. uh, our youngest. Um, uh, Abby, she's our 15-year-old. And uh, we love to fish, and, and it's, it's a great time on the water. And uh, we, uh, we tied in to some good snapper that day, as you can see. And, wow. and um, uh, also got some uh, mahi-mahi, I think, down there on the... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, right there. Uh, it, was, uh, it, it was just a fun day. Uh, we <laughs> caught a weed line coming back in, and so we, were, we had fun cast line, you know, just throwing a little spinning reel and uh, a great day on the water. <laughs> All right. All right, now, next one, we're going to uh, 
<laughs> these are the nice enough snapper right here. Take a look at these right here. Wow. You know what? I tell you, it's amazing. Uh, as long as we've been fishing uh, this past year, I've not seen uh, bigger snapper, yep. uh, more plentiful. You can't even get your, your hook to the bottom. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, the snapper eating, and, and they're eating just about everything out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing how many fish we have. In the, we're blessed. We are. We are, we we are. are blessed. All right, we're going to go to uh, now red snapper and a, and a uh, red grouper. Yep, red snapper and grouper. That was early in the season uh, last year. And um, we um, I, that day went with uh, all my siblings. We load the boat down with our with our family. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's uh, my brother-in-law, Bart, and my brother, Tim, and Shane, and my oh, sister, Suzanne. We've got, we got some pictures in there. There you right go. That's the, that's the crew. Now, you talking about growing up over on Baldwin <laughs> Road, Coach, where Dad used to shoot the bow yeah. behind us. Well, th th these yeah. are the, this is the gang that I grew up with. This oh, is a, yeah. Tim and Suzanne and Shane. And um, you know what? We got a call. Suzanne called me about noon and said, what are you doing? And uh, I said, well, I'm, 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 I'm you know, <laughs> I can go fishing if that's what you're calling for. <laughs> and so we met and uh, we ran offshore and we were out about three hours, two hours. Um, and uh, in the afternoon, had a great day. That's great. Y'all can get away and do that. And uh, okay, let's go. Let's show a hunting picture right here now. You do. You hunt some too. <laughs> oh, I do. Uh, that um, um, I was. Uh, you know, I shot that deer last year, January first. Wow. New Year's Day. And what I said, time I, of day? You... I said it was just after three o'clock. This deer, wow. deer in the rut up in Alabama, and this this uh, this deer stepped out in a um, uh, in a power line. Uh, that I was, uh, and I actually shot him in a ground blind. Yeah. Uh, a little bitty, uh, uh, a little bitty ground blind, and I had a I had a shooting stick. Shot him 200, about 230 yards, well, and um, cool. it was a it's a great deer. As a matter of fact, we enjoyed uh, we enjoyed some uh, venison, some backstrap, my crock pot uh, oh, uh, yeah. Sunday afternoon. And uh, family, y'all have a lease up there, and all go we do. Quite a bit. We do. Uh, we we do. You know, we love to hunt in Alabama. Our mom's our mom's family is from Alabama. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we have Alabama roots, and I'm a Troy State grad or a Troy yeah. University now. Yeah. Uh, graduate and have a lot of friends in Alabama. And your kids, uh, where do your kids go to school? Well, I've got Allie and Abby are, are at Mosley. Yeah, they're our, they're our much, youngest. But... And then uh, Samantha just graduated from Florida State in December. Okay. Uh, uh, you would appreciate it with a uh, education degree. That's and then um, <clears throat> And then Stephanie is a, a senior down at uh, University of Central Florida. Okay. So all went through Mosley, uh, yeah. just like their mom and, 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 and yeah. dad. I, I get I, all comments all the time because we didn't have outdoor ed when y'all came through. Everybody said, oh, yeah. all, all the parents are mad at me. I said, y'all just be thankful your kids got to take it. <laughs> well, it, it's, uh, we yeah. all went through Mosley. I came through Mowat and Mosley, and uh, uh, we, all, we all love to hunt, love to fish. It's a good life. Okay, we're going to show, no, why are we showing pictures? Oh, yeah, I'm going to show is, this. Uh, this. This is this book. Y'all look at this book right here, folks. Check that out. Now, this is not an Alabama, that looks like an Alabama book, don't you see? Yeah, it does. That looks like an Alabama book. Now, I want you to read it right up here, okay? This is, this is Mar Mar uh, Marissa Chasen Ballard, a 10-point Florida Beautiful. boat hill, green scored at 131 8 inches, weighed 190 pounds, 14-yard shot, killed in Sneeds, Florida, daughter of Alan Chasen of Grand Ridge and a very proud father. And that is... Wow. Now, uh, he, he sent me an email. I want to... Oh, you got a picture. Look at the mass on that. Look, look at that. That main beam. I tell you, what a deer. <laughs> and he's, she's smiling now. She's happy. I'm going to read this email he sent. I'm going to read this email right here. Uh, uh, I record <clears throat> your show every morning and watch it every, every evening after work. Now, a lot of our viewers record in the morning because sure. they had to work and, and come in. He said, I thought your viewers might enjoy seeing a good Christian young lady in her bow hunting trophy. Her name is Marissa Chasen Ballard. She's a fourth grade teacher at Sneeds Elementary, and she's very involved in the youth at Sneeds First Assembly. She's a very positive role model uh, to all that know her, and I'm a very proud father. You sound familiar, don't <laughs> you? Does. and I feel the same way about her. My daughter teaches, and she loves to hunt, and I'm a very proud father too, uh, Alan. Okay, her equipment was a 40-pound bear, truth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, it, uh, it's a young a young uh, bow. It's an Eastern uh, uh, ST Carbon Arrows, uh, whisk biscuit arrow rest, true glow pin sight. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All the fancy <clears> stuff. Her shot, her shot was right behind the leg, penetrating both sides, and they only ran about 70 or 80 yards. Just goes to show you that even with two uh, low poundage bows, if your arrow yeah. placement is good, uh, it will be. It can get the biggest buck in the woods. Yeah. The 10 point buck weighed 190 pounds and green scored, like I said, 
uh, 131 acres. I hope this, listen to this, this is my favorite. Hope this inspires someone to take your kids hunting and you won't be hunting your kids. Thanks and God bless, Alan Chasen. Thank you, Alan, for sending that. Wow. And we see those kind of that stories awesome. all throughout the panhandle. I mean, well, look, you, you, uh, what a great story. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and an ethical shot, obviously, <laughs> yeah. uh, 14 yards. So, yeah. um, you know what? That's just another example of uh, daddy daughter time in the woods. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, it sounds like Marissa is doing well teaching school and, yeah. and being yeah. a good influence on uh, the, the, the young people in, in the yeah. Sneeds area. We're going, we're going to take a break in a second. We're going to come back and talk about the, you know, I know you get a lot of pressures in Washington, D.C., and I know the liberals up there and all that they are sort of anti-hunting. They don't even understand what outdoors are right. all about. And right. I know, and this is why we do these people like, like Steve up there. And I'm, you know, this is not a paid endorsement or anything. I'm just calling him over as a friend because I, I believe in, in Steve and, and his family values and kind of person he is. So we're going to take this last break and come back and talk about some of this stuff, okay? <laughs> All right, welcome back, folks. We're here with Congressman Steve Sutherland. We've got a, a great uh, a show left ahead. We've got a little bit more good, good stuff to go over, but let's look at our times for today, okay? Our, our outdoor times, we're looking at this morning, we just passed 129 and 339. I, most of us were asleep then, including me <laughs> and Steve. But this afternoon now, if you can get off work, 153 to 353. Terry Boss is going to be biting between 153 and 353 this afternoon. Now, listen. We were talking about this, you know, we, you, you just mentioned the conservationists like us who, who knows, knows what we need to preserve and what we need to thin out of a herd and all, but there are also other people that are that preservationists that want to preserve everything, and it's not healthy, yeah. right? No, no, yeah. look, we, we uh, look, I think if, uh, you know, if you, you, um, you know, we, we've started, we've started, like in Alabama, you know, we, they, they take a lot of does up there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you don't thin that herd, uh, you're, mm -hmm. you're going to get too many deer. Uh, they become uh, a nuisance. Uh, they also become a danger mm -hmm. uh, on the roads, and and uh, and you find that the health of the herd is not as good. And but there are people uh, in Washington D.C. that uh, that I disagree with uh, that don't want us having enjoying the freedoms that we uh, that we do enjoy, uh, and and that would be to the detriment yeah, uh, yeah. of our wildlife. And I know that's a, that's a battle that you and your fellow sportsmen, oh, yeah. uh, uh, legislators, fight yeah. all that on, on conservation. We appreciate y'all doing that. Let's switch subject a little bit, Steve. I wanted to mention this because, you know, we're in such a drought and everything, the, the water wars. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our, our mm -hmm. guys are hurting down in that Appalachian Coast. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, I know that uh, because of the, the water flow down the Apalachicola River that, that, that empties into the Apalachicola Bay, you know, it's got that perfect salinity level mm -hmm. um, uh, to be able to, to, to create the finest tasting oyster in the world. Uh, and because of the water, uh, the diminishing flow, uh, of the water, uh, which is the really half of what it has been decades and decades ago, uh, it's really it's really putting pressure on the on the oystermen. So the water wars, as you mentioned, between Alabama and Georgia, and primarily Georgia, because if you look at all that growth around the Atlanta area, yeah, um, uh, they're 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 taking that's coming out of Lake Lanier. Yeah, uh, it really is hurting us. And then when you got drought conditions that we've been through, it just further exasperates the problem. So there is federal uh, federal uh, uh, court challenges. Uh, it's, it's tied up in the courts. Uh, but I will say this, we have applied and, and, at, and urged the, uh, uh, the Secretary of Commerce to help our oystermen uh, be able to have access to uh, some FEMA funding to get us through the short term. Okay. Just like we provide for farmers in the Midwest yeah. uh, when it's a drought condition. Well, our farmers down here, they're just in the water. Yeah, right. uh, and, and they need to be able to get through this short term. So yeah. uh, we're helping them, but it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a dire situation in Apalachicola right now. Yeah, and, and I know that our hearts go out to them and we, we all want to help all we can and mm -hmm. all that. So, uh, okay, we've got a couple minutes left now. I, I know uh, this, this campaign's been, been a, a long, tough one. Woo! And, uh, I'm ready for this to be over. And you've been, you've been <laughs> I know you've been hustling. I, I, I know, and I want to wish you continued good luck and all. And, but the, the big thing and all, you know, if people just uh, vote, vote with their brains and their heart, I think, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and vote. You yeah. know, uh, Coach, we've got, a, we've, got, um, we've got brave men and women serving all over the world, yeah. uh, really fighting and, and uh, protecting our freedoms. And so and one of the greatest freedoms we have as a free people mm -hmm. is to exercise our, our vote. Mm -hmm. And uh, so go vote, you know, and, and vote smart. Yeah. Uh, look at the issues, and we've got a, in Florida, we've got a lot of issues. We've got amendments that we got to vote on. We've got judges we have to vote on, local yeah. races, state yeah. races, federal races. So do your homework. Mm -hmm. Early voting is going on right now. Yeah. Uh, I was down at the uh, the government building yesterday, and 
line wrapped all the way around yeah. the building. People yeah. are people are engaged this year. I, I think they are too. Uh, now, when, I'm gonna say when you win. What are some of the quick things you want to do <laughs> the next couple next couple of years? What are some well, things you one of the do? things that's big is next year we have the uh, the reauthorization of the Magnus and Stevens Law, okay. uh, which is the Magnus and Stevens Law uh, oversees all the fisheries. Okay. Uh, so next year, that's a reauthorization. About every five years, that bill comes up for reauthorization. Uh, if I'm fortunate enough to go back and, and represent this district, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to ask to stay on natural resources and to stay on the fisheries subcommittee because that's going to be uh, yeah. an important thing that we do uh, that, that will affect everybody that lives on the coast. Mm -hmm. uh, if you enjoy fishing, uh, then uh, what we're doing with that reauthorization is critical uh, to the health of the fisheries and to the freedoms we enjoy to access them. You know, you look at the snapper population, look at those pictures you had, and we, oh, all, yeah. had, we all had those snapper pictures this year. I mean, we had yeah. just a great year on red snapper, and it was, it was just wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we all want to have our season longer, but we know, we, we know that uh, it really turned out well this year. Well, we had, as you know, the 40-day season. Yeah. Uh, I remember we, uh, we yeah. because of the weather, and we lost about 75% of it because of the bad weather, uh, we, me and my colleagues, we sent a letter to NOAA and asked them to mm -hmm. extend the season. Uh, which we got an extra six days, and if you remember, that extra six days was beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, you know, I mean, and we hear from our, our um, you know, from from the head boats and the charter boats said that that extra six days was was great. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, and um, so you know what? There's there's a there's there's plenty of red snapper out there, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I'd certainly like to have a few more days. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, we, uh, I, I know it, I know, we, uh, and it was some good eating, too. Wasn't oh, it? man, yeah. it doesn't get any better. Well, Steve, I want to thank you for coming on. Coach, thank you for what you do. All right, buddy, thank you. Listen, folks, y'all know how we feel about Steve, and hope all of y'all get out and get a chance to. You just, like Steve said, get out and just vote and all. We're talking more about it. It's not a political show, but Steve is a good man, first of all, a good Christian man. He's a good outdoorsman, good family man, and third or fourth, fourth or fifth down the line, he's a, he's a congressman. So uh, That's right. Uh, and, and we, we appreciate you coming on the show. <laughs> Thanks, and, Coach. And good luck the rest of the week and good luck in the election. Thank you. Thank and, you. And as always, we want to thank you all for watching the show and supporting Panhandle Outdoors and supporting our sponsors. You be sure sometime today, you be sure to do something good for somebody. God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle On Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle On Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle On Tours.